Sebastian Rogers is still missing, and there is something that haunts me in this case that I want to talk about today. The neighbor says CPS was called in February because Sebastian was sleeping in the garage. There was also claims about a pressure washer being used on him, name calling by Chris Proudfoot, and some really horrible allegations. Was Sebastian really sleeping in the garage every night, or was he sent there as a punishment? The same neighbor claims that Chris said Sebastian slept in the garage because he was tired of smelling piss. Note that Chris admits Sebastian liked to urinate and defecate in his pants, so he wore pull-ups. I don't think any child likes to do that, but it's often as a result of trauma, which is also concerning. Something that really grabbed my attention is when Nancy Grace asked Chris whether he replaced any furniture in his daughter Faith's room, to which he answers no. Then she asks if there is any new furniture in the house. He says yes, a bed that was given to him and it's in the garage. Days after Sebastian goes missing, did you replace furniture in Faith's room? No, ma'am, I have not replaced any furniture in my daughter's room. Is there any new furniture in the home? Yes, ma'am, there's a bed that was given to me and it's currently in my garage. Has anything been taken out of the home? No, ma'am. I got chills after hearing the neighbor allege that Sebastian used to sleep in the garage. Was it the bed set he used in the garage? Now yesterday, pictures started to emerge of the proud foot's garage door, and if you look close enough, you will see a large dent in the one door. Speculation is running wild about this dent, with some claiming that maybe Sebastian was sent to the garage as punishment. Does this dent have something to do with the thud that Katie claims she heard? Was it Sebastian in the garage? Was there some altercation and did he hurt himself against that door leaving the dent? I do hope that authorities are leaving no stone unturned in this case. Katie's car was also parked inside the garage that night.